With it being Arsenal versus Liverpool this Sunday, I had to bring an Ars an Ar a Liverpool fan apologies that's making a lot of noise in the YouTube game. A good friend of mine, enemies on Sunday. But yeah, how you doing, my dude, man? Hope you're well and safe. We've got a lot to discuss. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Big up to you. Thank you for having me. Uh, you know, we're here to talk about this game this Sunday against Arsenal's B team, apparently. So, yeah, we're, we're here. All right, we're here. <laughs> Let's jump straight into it, man. Could you argue there's never been a better time to play Arsenal? Because, you know, our fans have been on to us with how we're playing. There's injuries, there's suspensions. If we lose the title race or any title race hopes are over, apparently. How are you feeling with all the noise getting into this? This is a double-edged sword because, yes, on paper, it's the best time to play Arsenal because Saliba's out and this guy's out and that guy's out and everyone's injured. But... This could also make like this underdog us against the world mentality, which would come back to That's bite us in the ass. On, bro. Yeah, so it's not it's not a case like I I hate this notion where people are acting like we're about to go to Southampton away. We are going to Arsenal. Arsenal finished above Liverpool two years in a row. Arsenal finished second and second. We finished fifth and third. So obviously Arsenal have been better than Liverpool over the last two years. So what we're not going to do is act like Liverpool are about to go play Brighton away with injuries. Yes, Arsenal have injuries, but they still have very good players. Rice is there, Partey is there, Havertz is there, who's having a great you know, uh, time. Gabriel is there, Raya, who's been one of the best keepers in the league, if not the best, now because Alisson's out, you can say that. So, okay. <laughs> if, if, if not the best. So, I, I hate this notion that people are acting like, oh, it's this the best time to play Arsenal. We're going to slap them for now. You know, I'll tell you the one case where we're going to slap you. If you bring Zinchenko. If you bring Zinchenko against the Egyptian king, barbecue chicken settings. Bro, bring the grill. Every, every sort of chicken you could imagine he's going to get fried. Bring the grill. Bring the grill. <laughs> so, I'm ready. That's my biggest fear because if I look at our defensive options at left back, right, he either plays the young Lewis Skelly, which out of all, out of him, Kivu and Zinchenko, I don't mind Lewis Skelly against Salah. Of course, Salah, great player, could tear him a new one. But at least he'll learn from it. At least after the game, even though I'll be upset we lose, at least he can say, all right, this is what the Premier League's about. This is how I have to do it. Even if Zinchenko has, even if, I can't see it, but even if Zinchenko has a great game against Salah, keep Salah quiet, you're never going to be filled with any confidence with Zinni. So it leads me to wonder, does Kivio get in there? I want Timber to play, but I don't know if Timber's training. I don't know if Timber's fit. Timber could play centre-half, and then that goes back to what we're saying with left-back. The defence scares me. And it's not even just our defence. It's our ethos defensively, you know. Like, we've been praised as one of the best defensive teams in the last year or two. It's been avoided. It hasn't been there really and truly. If you not and you look at the Bournemouth game, I'm not trying to blame any of the players, but you look at the poor pass from Trossard, the sending off from Saliba, you know, the, the 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 penalty. What led to the penalty? You do that against Liverpool, coupled into the fact of there was not a single positive. Like you know me, my guy. I hate losing. I hate drawing. I want to win every game, like everybody. But when the performance isn't there, you're not winning your jewels. You're not doing your jobs. That's my issues. If these players have any thoughts about conducting themselves how they did against Bournemouth, against you lot, stay at home. I don't even know. Partey might even play right even back. Even Shakhtar, even though you won. It's the same Shakhtar thing. Shakhtar as well. Shakhtar as well. We won, but it hardly did anything to excite fans, you know. And I, even with you lot, even though you lot are probably more healthier than us, your form's been better, it's probably a lot. I saw a lot of Liverpool fans. I didn't watch the game, but I saw a lot of Liverpool fans after the Leipzig game. They weren't exactly happy. So where, what's the sentiment like within Liverpool at the moment? Because Ancelot's doing his thing. Yes, we are doing our thing. So there's no need for us to not be happy. I mean, 11 wins out of 12. This is the best start of any Liverpool manager ever. So this is like, I'm going back in the history days, even with the, the great names that we had. Because we have, we've got the likes of Bob Paisley. We've got the likes of managers who have won Champions Leagues and dominated and and won back to back to backs and and you know done everything you know in in football. The fact that we sit here now with eleven wins from twelve is a testament to Arne Slot and how great first he, season there as well. Yeah, and how great he's been this season. So that's why for me, I'm 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 just. I'm just obviously excited, but you have to be optimistic, but cautiously optimistic because this is still October. You guys have been bitten by this before. I've been bitten by this before because there's this club with 130 charges. Hopefully you get found guilty and <laughs> get sent to League Two that still exists, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. we are in this position and yes, I am optimistic cautiously, but it's, it's obvious what Arne Slot type of manager is. Arne Slot is the type of manager that will attack you, try to score goals, but as soon as he has the lead, it's more about defending the lead and it's more about securing the win. I, like, I mean, away at Leipzig, we were 1-0 up. 
beating Leipzig. And after that, he kind of brought on Joe Gomez, brought on Robertson, um, brought on, 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 you know, defensive players. So it's obvious the type of the, like manager he is, which is most important thing is to get the win, try to get a clean sheet. We've conceded three goals in eight games in the Premier League, which is very impressive. You know how many teams can attack. I said before, like maybe if we were doing the stream three, four weeks ago, I would have said, listen, we haven't played anyone yet for our defense to be tested. But then I'm looking at, at who else, who else's defense can be compared to Liverpool, Arsenal and Man City. You look at those two clubs, they're conceding goals to Ipswich. Haven't been, haven't been to their standards. Yeah, you're conceding goals to Ipswich, to Brentford, to, to Fulham, like... Bo Arsenal, Southampton and Leicester, Bournemouth as well, respectively to these teams. Yeah, Southampton, Leicester, Bournemouth, twice, twice you're considering goals. So it's like, I, I can't say that anyone else has a stronger defense. By definition, our strongest defense, we have the strongest defense. And of course, we have the powerful weapon. We have the nuclear missile playing right wing, you know. So that's the thing that always makes a difference. The for biggest us. thing the that scares me, man, going into that yeah. game. Naturally, that's, that's you can't the world class player that. right there. So he, he, he's, he's, he's him. And he's he's proving it again, yet another season. I mean, I don't know if you watched the Chelsea game, but it's another he's season where he made prove, the man. Like, Salah's got nothing to prove. I'm not a fan of social media, and you know, like they say, the way I look at Salah is the way I look at Saka. Now, Saka's obviously got a long way to go to match Salah and do what he's doing, but Salah Salah's obviously got tech, can score goals, can do crazy things. But people will sit there and say, oh, he's not pleasing on the eye, though. He's not amazing. How many players have we seen in this league that can do a million step overs, great party tricks? They don't go and do anything with it. They're not consistent. Anthony. They're not decisive. Anthony, even yesterday, Fenerbahce sent Maximin. Yeah, you look good on the eye, but where's the decision making? It's annoying, bro. So Salah's got nothing. And Maximin got past the Man United right back like 700 times and did nothing with it. Nothing. I, like, I know if Mo Salah gets past Zinchenko once, I'm either going to get a goal or an assist. Bro, so one good luck kind, he's going to get past him a million times. And what scares me is, I think Mikel Arteta, like, I think we're damned if we do, damned if we don't, regardless of what we do. Unless Tommy Asu, Calafuri, Timber, unless these guys are miraculously fit, I think we're fucked. So I look, I don't think he's going to start MLS, Lewis Skelly. I think, you know, he did bring him on against Shakhtar. So I left back ahead of them too. So that might have been something. Maybe I'm reading too much into it or too little. I think it's between Kivio and Zinchenko. It all depends what you want. I wouldn't describe Kivio as defensively solid, but he's going to put more of a, of a fight up against, against Salah than Zinchenko will. If you play Zinchenko, then for me, Mikel Arteta, whether we win, lose or draw, Zinchenko can't defend. He's obviously going to have to, but he can't defend. Let's just focus on what he's good at. You're good in the midfield field. You can play some passes. Let's double down on that, which, as you know, high line counter-attack were in problems. I actually feel sorry for Gabriel because... You've played football. You know when, like, if you're a defender and you, you've got a shaky person like Zinchenko, you're not going to be at your best because you're always thinking, boy, I'm going to have to go and help him. That's my issues. Obviously, you've got Martinelli can help, but you've got that man Trent behind him. And I think we're not even talking about the left-hand side. I know there's a lot of talking points at Liverpool with your left-back, but you've got the Diaz's of this world, etc. But I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I'd want us to have a goal. At the end of the day, we might be a wounded animal. Liverpool might be the biggest and baddest and doing what you're doing. You still have to come to the Emirates and tr and actually score goals, bro. So at least make it difficult. If if we make it difficult, we have a good game. Salah scored from 30 yards. You just have to say, all right, you know what? We go again. I want to ask you, though, yeah. That's why I'm saying, why are oh. people acting like we're going away to Leicester? That's the part I don't get. Because you know Arsenal how the league is. Like I get Zinchenko against Mo is scary. I get that stuff. I get the fact that, you know, Saliba's out, so you have a little bit less confidence. I understand that. That's like you telling me Arsenal pull up to, to, to Anfield without Van Dyke. Yes, I'll be worried, but people are acting like, you know, I'm going away to Leicester or, or Southampton. We're not. We're going away to Arsenal. So it's still going to be a tough game regardless. And yes, is Mo Salah a nuclear missile against Zinchenko? Yes, he is. And, and, and Arsenal fans should be intimidated by that factor. But that doesn't mean that Arsenal are just any, any side that who, like, who are crap or something. Like Arsenal are still a very good side. There's, like, and, and with all this drama, by the way, Arsenal have lost one game in six months. All this drama. Two you know, games I this think, year. Do you yeah, think, I think there's the... no reaction with the Arsenal fans on that? Because obviously it's good to ask you because you've got nothing to do with Arsenal. You support Liverpool, isn't it? I'm not what what do you make of it? I, I think it's, it's all bit, I, good now. I, I don't think it's too much of an overreaction because of performances. I'll tell you what I mean. The performance against Donetsk was even more worrying than the performance against Bournemouth. Shakhtar Donetsk at the Emirates. Second half was horrible, man. Without Saka, you should still be slapping them by three or four goals. 
There is no way that Raya needs to make a save from Pedrinho at the end to stop that game from being 1-1. That was a fantastic yeah. save, by the way, but that's beside the point. I agree. The point is, that's the, that's the tier of team. That's the level of team that when you watch Arsenal, you're expecting Arsenal, okay, you're going to get slapped by four goals. You're going to get slapped by five goals. Today is the game where Trossard dribbles past two players and scores. Martinelli scores. This guy scores. Well, that guy scores. Come off at half time. Game done. Yeah, but it just... It just I, I'm looking at the performance and I'm like, are you guys seriously defending against Shakhtar Donetsk in the last 10 minutes of the game? I just did. I just didn't get it. And maybe it's a little bit low on confidence. Bournemouth was a little bit, I get it because you are, we have 10 men, but I still expect the manager to go for it at least. Attempt it was to shit even it. with 11, bro. That, that's yeah. the word. I, I know we say this, but Bournemouth for me, worst performance of the season, just because you're not winning your battles. You're not passing the ball well. You're not doing the basics. You're not leaving it out there. Like the minimum to step into a Premier League game, it weren't there. Don't know how, don't know why. It just wasn't so horrible. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. So I'm saying, like, obviously, is there a bit of an overreaction? Possibly, but Liverpool is the scenario from hell for you, both long term and short term. Because in the short term, if we do beat you, then it's going to be rants, it's going to be everyone mad, it's going to be viral clips because you're seven points behind in October, which which is a problem. Because this means you're essentially going to have to go flawless from now to the end of yeah, the season. You have to go on the craziest of runs, I agree. Uh, and you still have to go away to Anfield. You still have to play City at home. You have to go to the bridge. You have to go to Newcastle, which are, aren't all easy games uh, at all. And there's you know, other games in com other comps as well. And we've already yeah, away in, in Brighton. Like, right. There's so many tough games. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking it's, it's going to be a bad thing. And if Liverpool win the league over Manchester City, Arne Slot's first season... I'm looking at Arteta. Yeah, with only signing Federico K. I mean, the excuse over the last two years was Pep finished above them. Pep, 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 Pep. Anytime you have this conversation. Now it's no longer Pep. It's Slot. If he finished below Slot in his first season, then I think Question questions mark. need to be asked. 100%. 100%. And that's the thing. I don't need, you know, like if, if Arn Slot does that in his first year, people, I don't, I don't know what they would say, how they would say it, but you are looking at Mikel Arteta because it'd be another one where you'd be the bride, you'd be the bridesmaid. You're not the groom. You're not getting married. You're flirting with it. And as much as we can sit here and say, you know, Liverpool are a good side. The vast majority of those players have won titles. City done stuff. They got more experience. Yada yada yada. Yeah, I genuinely feel in the last two years we haven't won the league. It's been because of us. It's not been because of City. We've self-inflicted ourselves. Like, you go back last season, of course, bad days happen. You can't win them all. But Aston Villa, twice. I'm more annoyed about the game at their place versus at the Emirates. Fulham, twice, where we shot ourselves in the foot at the Emirates and just terrible away from home. Newcastle. And I think a lot of it comes down to the transfer market. You know, again, mm -hmm. I, I watch all your content. You wasn't happy with... You can sympathise with me because you're definitely not happy with the transfer activities of Liverpool. And I know that you can't sign everybody it's not fee for the club tried but you know if you try to do a good job at work but you don't do a good job you're going to lose your job it doesn't matter if you tried you can see what Arsenal need and maybe I'm a bit naive but you went into this window now and I looked at it and said you know what you've had two years fighting City you could sign players and still not be there but now do you get an upgrade on Kai Havertz so you big up Havertz you've done nothing wrong it's just you're lying if you say you can't sign a striker do you get a left winger? Do you get a technician in the middle of the park? Because we've got a lot of tall players, NBA players, as Moreno said, but they're not necessarily what we need. Do you, you know the defensive depth? That's cool. That's said the NBA players. Nah. He said they are NBA dons. I, listen, th this is the weirdest thing. I love it with Arsenal. I love the physicality. I think Arsenal fans are doing too oh, how, much. How did you like? You just said it so nonchalant. Like yeah, because it is NBA. Players. They're six foot plus, and Moreno came out himself and said, said we got three Peter Crouches in midfield. Exactly. That's crazy. The manager, the, the center midfielder, Moreno himself, bro, he said they're NBA dons, and I hear that that's great. Win your headers, but can we play some football? The ball's meant to uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The ball's on the floor, gravity. Can we pass the ball forward? And I, I'm not criticizing Arteta, but it feels for me that he's got too much of a handbrake defensively, and we've gone the other way. Like under Wenger, you couldn't pay us to defend, now you can't pay us to attack, and no matter what. You have to score goals. Like Arnslot, Arteta play very different games of football and all the other managers. But you know football. You need to keep them at the back of your net. You need to put them in the back of yours. What I don't want to see is you lot come to the Emirates. Obviously, be fearful of Liverpool in a healthy way. You've got great players. What I don't want to see is over-respect. Woe is me. We've got injuries. We're done out here. Make it difficult. You know, I love Trent Alexander-Arnold, but he will go to sleep at one point defensively. When no, he, he does, take advantage of it.
He will. He will. He will. He will. He will. This season he hasn't gotten cooked by any winger. This season he's been this season he's been on job defensively. He's actually locked up Sancho. What I mean by that is he inverts, bro. He inverts their space. He's gonna go to sleep. Ask questions. Uh, so, I, I I don't think so. This Ask season questions. he's been he's been honored defensively. He's actually been shit going forward, to be honest with you. But he's been very Martin good. Martinelli needs to do something in that game, man. You're normally the guy. I'm I'm betting on the Brazilians. I shouldn't bet on Gabriel Jesus, but your last name's Jesus. It's on a Sunday. Can you rise for us, Martinelli? Try a thing, Gabriel. Can you fight? <sighs> I don't know, man. Don't, you don't, don't even know. you know you know I know you you don't even believe what you're saying. Look at you. You don't even believe do, what I you're do, saying. Do. Now do you know what it is, bro? Of course I'm worried. <laughs> this is what this is a game where I wish I wish we played you lot before. I wish we had you. Of course I don't. There, for me, you know me. I don't do the over positive thing or the over negative thing. There's plenty of reasons. As you said earlier, how we're playing, what we did against Shakhtar, injuries. A lot of what you said on the troops stream, I believe, was true as well. Big up troops. There's many reasons to be negatives. The only positives I'm looking at, and this ain't positives for the sake of it, is it's a football game. It's like getting into a fight with someone. They might punch you up, but you might be able to land a knock on them. If you're sc being scared means you've lost already. I want to see fearlessness. I want to see you actually make it difficult. If your season really is on the balance, like you've seen the headlines, title race, or we're mathematically or not, Arsenal title race over if we lose. If them things are true, and I'm speaking to the players, if them things there are really true, don't let Liverpool take it easily. As I said, if Salah pops it in from 30 yards, Hold your hands up. He's done some star, star stuff. Don't make it easy. And I just feel the only thing I will give Arsenal, and now this is copium. This is copium. When our chips are down, when there's bare injuries and things and there's no reason, this is normally when we pull a rabbit out the hat. Now, for me, I expect to lose. Unfortunately, I'll buy your arm off for a point at the moment. Of course, I hope we win because you know how Arsenal fans are. If we go and beat you lot. All the guys that were slagging off our team, we're now winning the league, we're doing this, we're doing that, such is life. It's scary. Very scary, bro. But I'm Yeah, I think, and, and this is why you can't be too reactionary. That's why I'm not acting like we're going away to Southampton. Like, people are just doing too much. Arsenal is still a tough side. It's a tough team to play. I think it's going to be a boring game. I don't think it's going to be entertaining. People are doing this whole entertainment. I wanted to ask you that, because I saw you. Why, though? Because our defense is terrible. You lot got a good attack. Don't you feel there's goals? Yeah, but we're not, we're not like, this is not club ball, bro. Like, we ain't out here doing gung-ho football. We beat Leipzig 1-0. There are, we beat Wolves 2-1. We beat Crystal Palace 1-0. As soon as we go 1-0 up, it's like, Kalas, job done. That, that's it. That's all we want. Like, it's not, it's not like we're out here. We, we aren't truthfully out there, like, playing the sexy football. We aren't. Our football is all about getting the result. It's like, I'll, I'll, give it, I'll, I'll explain to you this way. It's like Dutch football plus Pep football had a baby. That's slot right there. <laughs> like, it's like, pass the ball, pass He's the ball. Left, 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 together. That's the best way I can explain it. At least one because, Dutch manager has an ethos. You know, I don't know about yeah. the other one. No, it's, so it's, not the like, one. it's not like all of them attack together and defend together all the time. But it's at the same time a little bit with Pep, you know, pass left, pass right, all that shit. That's why, you know, we have a couple of midfielders looking amazing right now. So, listen, the reason why I think it's going to be a boring game is both teams are, are more defensive than going forward. Yes, you, you know, you know, we go our forward line. It truthfully goes as Mo goes. If Mo performs really well and and he and he creates and he scores, we go. Everybody and and you, you want the proof in the pudding? Forest, the only game that we lost, Mo was wasn't good in that game, and we lost that game because you can't rely on anyone else to step up. Yes, some of them Diaz has had moments, Gakpo's had moments, Nunes has had moments, whoever, but Mo still is the guy. That's why, you know, for me, I want his contract extended. And as well, he's he's kind of the powerful weapon for this Sunday. That's why, please start Zinchenko. That's all I want. And the Come rest on, Zinchenko, is the politician. You've got this. No one believes in you, Zinchenko. You don't even believe. I believe in you, Zinni. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. No, I hope no, so, no, Zinchenko. No, man. No, I, don't no, I didn't don't. say that with conviction <laughs> at all. At all. <laughs> Zero conviction. How you say I believe in Zinchenko, they start laughing. And I'm supposed to buy that you believe in Zinchenko. Like, do you know I what it is? Do you know what it is? I looked at you. As I was saying it, I was keeping a straight face. I looked at you and you're looking at me like, brother, you don't believe what you're saying. I'm yeah, like, you oh, don't no, believe I don't. Yeah, you don't believe it. <laughs> if you was Arsenal, yeah, obviously, Salah has, you know, there's, there's, there's quality left backs that Salah's torn a new one, yeah. If you play someone like Salah, you don't have to win the you don't have to win the battles. You have to win the war. He's going to get past you. But out of Kivu and Zinchenko, which one would you play? They're both going to get ripped. But which one, gone to your head, would you pick? 
No, but there is levels to this. Like, I still think Kivior... I think people all exaggerate how bad Kivior is. I don't think Kivior is that bad at all. I think he's a solid defender. Is he amazing? No. Is he crap? No. You really, you really Kiv... reckon he's solid, bro? Solid. Yeah, I solid. think he's solid. When I say solid, it's like... Okay, but here's the thing. L let's just... Give me an example of someone who you think is like a crap defender. Let's say Lissandro Martinez. Crap mid defender. Okay. Oh, I go ahead. <laughs> yeah, oh, crap I defender. Hear me. So, so, so if Lissandro is here and Virgil van Dijk is here, Kivior is here. He ain't as bad as, as he's not as bad as, as like Alessandro. He's not as bad as a Harry Maguire. He's not as bad as another crap defender. Like, I, I don't know. You know, if you offer me Harry Maguire or Kivior, I might pick Harry. Oh Maguire. my God. End the stream, Dave. Maguire. End the stream. Yeah. Maguire You're taking bro. Harry Maguire. Have He's got change. personality, bro. At least it, from what I see, Kivio does not believe in himself. Now, I don't want to sound like a hater. Personality doesn't make tackles, brother. Does Kivio make tackles? Does he make yes. tackles? Or does he miss headers or play around with his boots? Kivio is been. not as bad as you guys make out. Kivio is still at least... Kivio, like Mo, will still need to like play to a certain level. Zinchenko is just going to get ripped apart. You know, cook them both. I, I, Zinchenko is rubbish, but he's got more personality than Kivio. For me, there is a beast ready to come out of Kivio. He doesn't believe in himself, bro. A Polish international come from Serie A. He, I thought he was going to be one of those defenders. Like, if Salah gets past him, you get over him over my dead body. I'm going to die. Kivio looks intimidated. Now, I'm not trying to lead a hate campaign against him. You don't play all the time. You know you're not playing ahead of people. But you don't believe in yourself. And I just feel with Kivio, obviously, you're going to probably have to ask Benjamin White to invert. With Zinchenko, you know he's going to invert and do all that crap. But he's worse than Kivio defensively. So it's the worst of two evils. Kivio will stay back and fight with Salah. But he switches off a lot, you know. He switches off a lot. Look at the goal. I'd against... rather see Zinchenko than Kivior. If you ask me, who course, would I rather see? Zinchenko. Of course. Salah won't because even lace his boots if he plays in. Defensively, he's worse. That's yeah, what. 100%. Because if I'm bringing you the, my best weapon, I want to take on your worst shield. But is an attack the best form of defense in some circumstances? No, no, yeah, of course. Because you, in Being order for you get something in the game, you have to attack. Does Zinchenko offer you more going forward? 100 million percent. That's about it, unfortunately. <laughs> but at the same time, you're going to have to stop the opponent's biggest weapon. Highline counter-attack counter when in trouble with Zinni. Yeah. I don't want to see the camera pan to Zinchenko on that bench crying. That's all I know. The counter-attack is a problem for you for multiple reasons. Because who's going to be Saliba's partner as well? Is it going to be Declan Rice? Do you know what? I was considering that, you know, I had I just done a video with James and I thought, honestly, I would. The only reason, I, the only thing that would stop me is who the hell plays in midfield because I do think, you know, Mikel Arteta's system is built on winning the ball as high up the field as possible. For all of Declan Rice's criticisms, that's one thing he gives him. I don't even know, maybe even Thomas Partey plays right back if Benjamin White plays left back, plays centre-half, sorry, and Timber comes in. It's... it's the defence scares me, man. Yes, you can sit there and say we've got great defensive depth when everyone's fit. I don't want to hear that because we do, but injuries happen to everyone. Of course, it's unfortunate at this point, but you need solutions. What annoys me the most is if there was one thing as a neutral that I would praise from Liverpool that I've seen that looks different, there's many things. You Like you, like you said, defending, you're winning your games, all of that. It would be the midfield. What's the one area that I'm very concerned about? Midfield from Arsenal. As you know yourself, games are won and lost in attack and defence. It's the midfield battling game, whether it's Trent inverting, whatever you're doing on the left-hand side, this guy, that guy. Now, we know Kai's going to drop in and, and you're going to probably have party and rice, but it's the midfield. How are we going to attack? How are we going to create chances? Because I want us to score, of course. And I want us, like like you said, you're not playing with the greatest of respect to them. You're not playing Southampton. You're not playing Brighton. Make it difficult for Liverpool. I don't want it to be one of those games which used to be of Arsenal in that. When the camera pans, it's you lot have won in the tunnel, like before a ball's been kicked. I don't want to see that. Like, that's what annoys me. I hate, I'll be real, I hate pussies. I, I hate pussies. Even if you know, I'm the sort of person, I know, even if I know I'm going to get beaten up in a fight, fuck it, innit? Like, you might as well go out like a Viking or a Spartan or something, bro. I'm not on that. And you're a Liverpool fan, so that's kind of you lot's ethos anyways, never giving up, fighting, all of that. Match that's them. why I hate when we're favourites. I prefer when we're underdogs. We're so much better when they were the underdogs. So much better. Every time Liverpool are the underdog, we perform. Every time we're the favourite, we're crap. Like, that's why... That's why I hate the fact that this everyone's acting like it's like we're going away to Leicester. Like it's still Arsenal, bro. So you have to perform. You have to perform at a certain level. You are right, though. Slot has upgraded us from a defensive perspective. We are defending a lot better. Uh, you know, we saw the game against Chelsea. We saw multiple different games this season where we just defend really well. Uh, you know, and a lot more even, street smart, really, as well. Yeah, yeah. He's he's he's. 
He and he's obsessed with the fact that we lost to Nottingham Forest because he keeps mentioning it. Every single every single post match press conference, every single interview, he's like, "We lost to Forest." By the way, I mean, it's such I, a I, like, thing, I like Slot. You know? I like Slot because even when he says things like, "I watched after the Chelsea game," he was like, "We didn't dominate Chelsea. We didn't dominate Chelsea." Da -da 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 -da. I'm proud of my boys for this, that, and the other. What have you made a showbuzz like this year? Because he's getting. Why, a lot do, why do you ask me about the worst player in the starting eleven? I have to, why? man. I have. I have. Why? I have to. I watch because I watch your content. Did I, I ask you what content. do you think of Sterling? Huh? Did I ask great you what do you think of Sterling? Great, 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 great. You can. You can. Oh, bro, this is very hard. Did I ask you what do you think you of, of Sterling or Zinchenko or any of these you players? Can ask me. You can ask me, bro. I've never said you can't ask me. I have to ask. I'm not a Liverpool. You fan. have this to start with Thomas Lai, huh? You're the Liverpool connoisseur. Your boss, like, what should we still got talk about Enzo or Bellingham or Chiuameni or Zimamendi or the many other Liverpool players? You lot got in your midfield now, joking. But now I want it because Shobozza seems to be in with a lot of heat with your fans. As I said, I praised your midfield. He seems to be someone catching heat. So naturally, I'm asking, bro. Don't get upset, Shobozza man. Is the, is the Hungarian Gallagher? That's that's what. Damn. Like. Yes. Damn. He's a he's. You know, I don't know how old you are. How how old are you? Twenty nine. Like Kai. S same age as me, exactly. Twenty nine. Big up yourself. We we, we grew up in an era where the number 10 was the most Jogo Bonito person in the whole team. Like, you had to have the most ability. Even, even if you're watching West Ham, even if you're watching whoever, the number 10 in the team was always the player that has the Star most boy. He's the guy that has is a technician. He can create, he can do everything. Maverick. With Sobosai, every time we're praising him, we're praising him for work rate. We're praising him for running. We're praising him for tackling. He had moments against Chelsea where, like, he blocked Palmer in the penalty box shot. He done def a lot of defensive work, so that goes in his favor, of course. But going forward in the final third, I want to stick pins in my eyeballs whenever I watch him yeah. because he can't make a decision to save his life. Sometimes, when you know what I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, Sobosly, just give the ball to Mo and just piss off. Just go, go, go somewhere else. Go run somewhere else. But in a big game like this, I'd prefer to start a Sobosly. Because oh, every time your yeah. DM gets the ball, I know he's going to press him. He's going to lead the press, which you, you need. Listen, people act like everyone must be a technician in the sport to make it. That's BS, with all due respect. Sometimes you need athleticism. Sometimes you need pace and power. Sometimes you need someone who can run around. Yes, that is Fact. something that's necessary. Fact, it's, it's something that's necessary. I mean, City won a treble with a left winger who all he does is pass back. So, like, sometimes you need different types of players. Yeah, uh, Grealish can always. What did, what did Grealish do to catch that stream? And at least, send, at least send for yet yeah, Mister Overrated, who you know played in the Champions League game against a team like Arsenal should be battering, and he said I was the best player in the league last year. Fair enough, star boy. At least send for him. Like Grealish, <laughs> I hear it, but Foden gets away with murder, in my opinion. Like, boy. nah, Foden, Foden's not been on it this season at all, and he hasn't played anyway. So. Foden is losing the Saka Palmer debate. He's now in the Sobosly debate. This is the thing is with with for me with Foden, yeah. I think he's a generational talent. I think he's probably in terms of natural ability the best English player about. I think he's a quality player. I think he's shown that. I think he will show that. But he is the only guy I know that is spoken about this and not held to those standards. If Saka has a good or bad game, he's dying. If Palmer has a good or bad game, he's dying. And what and, and it's nothing to do with Foden. He can't pick the team he's at to a degree, yeah. But Palmer's done it in a shit Chelsea team. Arsenal have done it in a shit. It is it, well, Saka's done it in a shit Arsenal team. I'm not saying Foden hasn't made the difference, but he's around a lot of killers. He never really has had to do it. And you look for England, Palmer only played about two minutes of the Euros. He's done it. Saka's done it. Whenever the pressure's on and Foden actually has to do star boy stuff, you've had a lot of their best Euros. season. And in their best season ever, before I even get to Foden, I'm talking about Rodri, I'm talking about Gundogan, I'm talking about Haaland, I'm talking about Ederson with some of the saves he made even in the Champions League final. I'm talking about some of the defenders' stones inverting into midfield. I don't think Foden's as good as people make out at all. At he's all. Not. I think he's a very good player. He but be, but uh, if you not. offer me right now Saka or Foden, I'm taking Saka. If you pick Foden at this moment in time, it's the eye test. It's just because he's a brilliant footballer. He looks great. Foden is not a killer. He's never... I mean, the man watched his mum get punched. So I can't respect him anyway, isn't it? I, I can't respect you as a man. I think but, us both would look great playing for City. That's <laughs> I mean, I mean Jeremy you're telling me DG can't do the job that Grealish is doing? Just no, look I'm at the right full back that, and then pass it back. Oh, so <laughs> I if I gave you 50 that. grand a week, you wouldn't work hard for the team and pass the ball back. I would attempt, I would attempt to. Pep would probably pull it like, like you said, stick pins in his eyeballs at me. I, I'd, I'd probably try a thing, man. Yeah, you're I you enjoy that. watching that Grealish guy. You don't enjoy watching that. I team. like Grealish, man. I like him. There's a oh. he's a baller, man. I hear it. You're not wrong. I do agree with the 
Pep's coached things out of him. He's going backwards and You grew that. up on Dennis Bergkamp and now you're calling Grealish a baller. <laughs> Judgment why Day is it, coming why soon. Why are you doing me like that? Because <laughs> Judgment Day is coming soon. How you how, how the hell are you calling that guy a no, baller? Well, you don't think Grealish is a baller? Seriously. No, no he had, there is nothing special. I I think Doku, if, if I take on Man City, I'd rather play against Grealish than Doku. I know Grealish Naturally, is because Doku is more likely to take on take on Trent. Like Grealish is going to go backwards, invert inside. No, I hear that. You're not wrong with that. But you think Grealish is shit? Like, yeah, I don't, I don't think agree. enough's been made about him being a hundred million. Sand. I will freeze before I rate Grealish. That ain't gonna he, happen. He gets away with murder, but he's never. To be fair to you though, he's never been a goal scorer. I know it's not an excuse and it's a cop out and a bit like what you're saying. You should be getting goals in that city. You are side, copping out right now. No, nah, it is a cop out, but he's never been a goal scorer, bro. One hundred million of the. Queen's finest at the time, now the king's finest. To do what? To do what? Pass the ball back. Right now, man. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I think if I put you a left wing, City would have won the treble. So stop it. I, I would take the medals, boy. Now you're, now you're right about Grealish. You're right about Grealish. Like, did you think you lot would be in a title race? And are you in it now? Because... Yes. Yeah. We're in a title race regardless from the start of the season. you after this. Yeah, we are in the title race regardless from the start of the season. I predicted us to come third. I still stick by that prediction because our squad depth is just not there to compete all the way. Right now, things are all sunshine and rainbows and rosy because, alhamdulillah, we don't have any injuries. And I do have to say, Slot as well plays a big role in that because he's managing the squad really well, taking off players, substituting players to keep them fit and fresh, which I also rate highly. However, if I'm being completely honest with you, I think we are on the title race. I thought it before the season started, but in order for us to go all the way, we need to reinforce in January. If you don't reinforce in January, you can kiss the league title goodbye. That's just how it goes. You ain't gonna start. You ain't gonna start the same exact eleven every game. Which areas? Midfield, centre back, left back. Those are the three positions we need massive upgrades on. If you could only bring in one, what's the most important? Most important right now would have to be a midfielder. 100% would have to be a midfielder. That's why we were chasing Zubamendi in the summer. M massive reason for us chasing Zubamendi. I mean, a midfield three of Gravenberg, McAllister, Zubamendi, Cooks. So it's, it's that's just what we need. We need someone someone like that, in my opinion. So th those are the, that, that's probably the person I'd say we need the most. Is it failure if you don't win the league then? Since you said you're no. in the race. Because it's definitely a failure for Arsenal. Yeah, but it's uh, the reason why it's not a failure. If this was Klopp, I'd say yes. But because it's Arnie Slot's first season, I cannot expect him to win the league in his first season. New system, new style, new country, new league. No signings as well. You're disappointed you signed Moreno, Calafiori and Sterling. I signed Chiesa with no knees. I lie. Until he said his name, forgot he was at Liverpool. Don't know where exactly. he is, what's going on there. He's injured already, by the way. With no knees, with no hamstrings. And you know something, you know, you've been watching football for a long time. Usually when a club sign a new manager, that's the summer where they spend the most money. To, and to make a statement, we're backing this manager, we're getting behind him. True. And I feel like the, the club have let Slot down, just like they've let Klopp down. Nothing new. Another day in my life, FSG out. Why are you so against FSG? Because obviously I watch your content and there's a lot of ways that it's FS, FSG out, this, that, the other. To someone who's not watching what Liverpool are doing, like, why? There, there is a serious lack of ambition from FSG. It's all about the pockets. It's all about what they can put in their pockets. It's all about the money. I don't think they want to win. I don't think they care about winning. Winning. I think if we bring John W. Henry in this interview with us right now and secretly offer him top four for the next 10 years, he would shake your hand. I don't think they care about winning trophies at all. And it's showing. The, the, the summer where we spent the most money is, this, is the season where we finished in the Europa League positions just to get to back to Champions League football. So it shows really what the true things are. And, and listen, we were, we were top of the mountain. In 2020, Liverpool won a league title in the Champions League in a two-year period. And I was at the top of the hill looking at all the peasants below me. All the peasants. Haha, look at you all. I'm above you. I'm above you. Guy, City, you, man. City, you ain't won the Champions League. Arsenal, you're eighth. Man United, you have Oli, you're crap. Chelsea, you're rubbish. I was I was laughing at all the peasants. And now, four years later, I'm doing a title race preview with an Arsenal fan. So this <laughs> tells you everything you need to know. Be I'm what? not even yeah, shitting on Arsenal. I'm shitting on us. Because there, you, you as DG, you're trying to get over the line. You're trying to climb the hill. So I understand that type of frustration. There's a new type of frustration you will discover soon when you win something. The frustration is when you're at the top of the hill and you get pushed down the hill. You want to like, stay imagine, up there. That's what they say. The hardest thing, once you're up there, the hardest thing is to stay up there, bro. Imagine two years from now, DG 
is inviting a Spurs fan on to do a title race video. Forget that. Forget you get that. What I'm saying? Don't, we don't say that ever again. Rebuke that. Rebuke that. Rebuke that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so no, I'm not I, saying I, 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 like it's the fact that we were example, at, the top, at the top, and 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 Klopp has shown the 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 ability to want elite players. He wanted Chouameni, he wanted Caicedo, he wanted Bellingham. Lavia, he wanted Bellingham. Exactly, Jude is a Ballon d'Or nominee. Chouameni is one of the best midfielders at Real Madrid. Caicedo has been Chelsea's best midfielder this season. Lavia, when he's played, Lord have mercy. Had a very good game against you, Lord, if I'm honest. So like every time I've like he he's shown the ability of wanting good players, but we just failed to execute. So that's exactly why I'm the owners out because we need someone who actually cares about football. So I have to ask you then, kind of piggy banking off that, yeah. How did you? How did the owners allow this situation where you've got probably your future captain Trent's contract running down? Sa Sa Salah, who, God forbid, if he leaves, how you replace that? I don't know. Obviously, like Van Dyke, Salah's getting older, but Van Dyke's still one of the best centre halves. Maybe one contract running down, two you'd say is incompetence, three is idiocity, it, it, just being an idiot, really. How has that happened? How do you feel as a Liverpool fan? And which one out of the three would you sign to a new deal if you had to pick one oh, and the other two are gone? You're not going to make me pick one. No, no. man. Come, don't do that, man. What, what? Yeah. Gun to your head. Everyone you know and love is going to die. You have to pick one of them, man, to stay. Which Gun one is to it? your head. Gun to your head. Would you cancel the Invincibles or the double season? Double. I can answer. I'll answer. I'll answer. I right, see. Now your turn. I can answer. If I had to pick someone that must stay, it's Mo, 100%. Because GA, everyone, listen, it's just... It everyone needs games, man. There is, there, is no, there is no wingers in world football at this level other than Vinicius and Mbappe, which we cannot attain. So just ignore it. So I, I can't. I can't. Van Dijk is, is just as important as Mo, but goals win you games. And it's, it's and so you can just look at the Chelsea game. Just look at the Chelsea game. True. Chelsea got in dangerous positions. Liverpool got in dangerous positions. Yes, Liverpool's defence are better than Chelsea's defence, 100%. But the difference is, the other team had Sancho and Madueke on the wing. We had Mo Salah on the wing, who essentially tore, tore their left back a new one and kept and creating chances. Well. Damn. Yeah, and he created, what, three, four big chances that game? The, 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 the pass for Curtis Jones, that's not a pass that any regular winger can do. So That was a serious pass, man. Yeah, that's why after the Chelsea game, I have to say more. And in terms of the incompetence, it's a series of bad decisions. I mean, that Trent, us... I admit, but go on. Yeah, the, the, it's a series of bad decisions that lead us to the position that we're in right now. And it's been incompetence ever since we won a league title. It's been incompetence on top of incompetence on top of incompetence. So this is where we're at, unfortunately. Do you think Trent goes Madrid? Do you, or do you actually like, do you, do you, are you if taking I any of those rumors? Swear, Trent. You want to leave Liverpool like that? Place, why, why shouldn't I? Why give, you, you tell me the reason. Why shouldn't he go to Madrid? I'm, not, I'm with you. I'm just being devil's advocate. I'm with you. Real Madrid. And you know, it's the same with your Madrid. club, with Saliba, right? Let's mm -hmm. be serious here. Madrid is the biggest club in the world. Let's he just stop. My blessing. He has my Every, blessing. It's Real Madrid. Exactly. Everyone, everyone grows up dreaming wanting to play for Real Madrid yeah, around the, the world. Is, does Trent, like, not that he owes Liverpool fans or Liverpool anything. Do you really want to leave on a free? Like not giving him a transfer fee. Yeah, but he's of. not an accountant. He's the player. Yeah. And if I, I Madrid agree. Wants him, and Madrid want him. So so if he waits a season and Madrid don't want him anymore, are we gonna like, you know, just like what give him give, pay him back? What if 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 he says no to Madrid and he can never get the opportunity ever again to play for them? These are the things that I always make people question. And and Trent has already like kind of alluded to it indirectly. The reason why he's not signing the contract has nothing to do with the money, has nothing to do with any of that. It's not like he's going to get high wages at Madrid anyway. Like he's going to get regular wages at Madrid. It's ambition. And it's already been, he spoke about it with Eze, trophies, medals. This is his prime year's contract. He's he currently is. what? 526. Mm. So do you trust your, your future in the hands of Florentino Perez or do you trust it in the hands of John W. Henry who gives you Chiesa with a new manager? Exactly. How have you managed to flip it back to the owners, man? This is amazing. <laughs> but it is you're true, right, though. It's you're, no, true. you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're yeah, not wrong. Uh, do you want to cross the ball to Mbappe and Vinicius or do you want to cross it to Nunez? Yeah, okay. It's true. It's and long. you don't want to be... What I would say as well, because I've seen these kind of situations as an Arsenal fan, more so pr just prior to Mikel Arteta coming in. If I'm Trent, if I'm Van Dijk, if I'm Salah, they've all got their own things now. Van Dijk and Salah, they're at different stages of their careers. I don't know if they want to go Saudi. I don't know if Madrid are on them. I don't know if they believe in the Liverpool contract, I mean, project. I don't know if they don't believe in it. It seems like Van Dijk stays. But if you're one of them three, you never want to be the last one to leave. You don't want to be the last one. Like, and, and to a degree, if you're Trent, 
even though it's irrelevant, I would want to see what's going on with Salah, what's going on with Van Dijk and all that kind of stuff. So it's interesting. For Liverpool, it'd be, it is incompetence if you let probably the best right back in the world at the moment leave for free without some sort of fee. It doesn't happen overnight. As you said, the man's not an accountant. How have you got here? One contract I, I can understand, free. A bit like what you said with a new manager coming in, you've got three key players, deals running out. Yeah, it helped him in the market. Yeah. God forbid, because I don't wish injuries on anyone. There's injuries. I wonder what's going on with Van Slot. Really, I wonder what he's thinking beyond this point. He's thinking, he he's thinking, sign me some players in January or I'm gonna kick off because he's Dutch. And you know, the Dutch style is they, they, they don't care. Yeah, very opinionated. I have a dream. I have a dream. We're top of the league in January and Arnie Slot press conference to the dagger, dagger to, to, to the FSG hearts. You get me? He just comes out publicly and says, I want players and this ownership isn't backing me. Yeah, if man. he does that, Oh my God, I'd be so happy. I love it. What Arne Slot is thinking is the same as probably us, is the same as all the Liverpool fans who want to win. He backs himself as a coach. He backs himself as a manager. But at the end of the day, you need the weapons to utilize. Simple as that. Arsenal right now, they look like dog shit. But if you play, if you take Kvaratskhelia from Napoli, Kvaradona, put him on the left-hand side, suddenly you're a lot better. Suddenly you're a lot more creative. People always get, get in their feelings. Declan Rice was a signing. Saliba was a signing. Gabriel was a signing. Raya was a signing. From my club, Mo Salah's a signing. Van Dijk is a signing. Signings matter, you know. Allison is a signing. Like, people act like, oh, life is, everyone's just going to come through from the academy. That's not how football works, bro. You know, you need signing. You need to, you know, our greatest ever player, Kenny Dalglish, was a British transfer record. Ian Rush was a signing. I could go back in the days and tell you all the players that were signings as well. It's really so, less folks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So signings matter. Signings matter. They do. And and we can't just bypass it like it means nothing. So we need players, man. We need players. That's, that's, that's what I'm thinking right now. My last question for you then, yeah, before I let you get out of here. How do you think the game's going to go? And give me a prediction. Why are, you putting, why, why are you doing that, bro? I'm asking questions, man. It's going to be hell for you this Sunday. If Zinchenko starts, I'm going to say 2 0 or 3 0 Liverpool because he's such a big. We, we, Zinchenko, just stop it. Don't even, don't even try, please. Zinchenko I mean, against. Multiple Premier League winner, man. Played in the Champions League final. Go why did they sell him then? Since he's so good. Because we gave them. He wasn't getting enough football, innit? And he wanted to come yeah, here. Well. Shame. Stop it. Stop it. Stop the copium. This is a petition for everyone who's watching right now. Like the video first and subscribe to Deluded yeah. Guna. Hey, everyone, everyone in the comment section, I want you to write right now. He introduced Stop us to that inverted role as well. Um, yeah, he's and now he's inverted on the bench. That's that's. What I wish he, I wish he was inverted out of the stadium, mate. Like <laughs> exactly then. So stop the copium. If Zinchenko doesn't start, then it's gonna be one nil. This this thing is not going to be an entertaining game. Stop stop the copium, people. I saw people telling me three two, four three. I'm like, do you guys realize which two teams we're about to watch this Sunday? Three three who who's going to score the three? Like, tell your guy oh, it's like, Let's just draw, man. We'll do it at Anfield. Let's just get a point, man. We'll fight. We'll fight at Anfield. We we'll fight at Anfield. Like when the team when the man in my back, we do this, man. Like it's not a fair fight right he now. He is shitting it. I love it. I love it. He's, he's, no, he's, you know what? I'm not, you know, because one, I've accepted that Liverpool might just smoke us. As you said with Zinchenko, I've kind of accepted that. I don't really have a reason to be optimistic. Like, I'm, you know me, I'm quite balanced. I don't get excited. But the way the team's playing, i am not really got confidence. There's injuries in that. The only thing that gives me confidence is at the end of the day, you lot of humans like us, when, our, when we're backed in a corner and there's not a reason to have optimism, we've got that. And I just hope Arteta's got a plan and I'll be real with you. In Kai Havertz, I trust, bro. Like, in Kai Havertz, isn't it? Like, Kai, like, Kai, Saka, please, isn't it? If Saka's there, I ain't, I'm going to go 1-0 Arsenal because I, I'm trying to speak it into existence. We're, we're preaching positivity now, man. We're going against logic, but I'm shook, man. I'm, I'm genuinely shook tonight. I, even if Zinchenko plays and gets cooked, I'm not even going to be angry with him. Anyone that gets angry at Zinchenko anymore... I don't know for you. I don't know how you've still got emotions with Zinchenko. I, I believe in life. You have to accept people for what they are. Zinchenko's never going to be someone to rely on, man. I'm scared. Pick up Zelensky's cousin, but you're getting smoked this Sunday. Getting smoked. Please bring me Zelensky's cousin. So please. if we win, what are you going to say? If, if we you win, win, I already think Arsenal are a good side. So I'm. if you win, yeah, you, you fair, should... you're not a hater, to be fair. It's not yeah, you should win at home. Like, 
That's like you asking me, if you beat us at Anfield, what will you say? I'm expecting to beat you at Anfield, just like you're expecting to beat me at the Emirates. Oh, so I never no. said expected. I'm not expecting to beat Liverpool. I'm hopeful. Like, I'm hopeful. Yeah, but but Arsenal should, uh, even with the injuries, Arsenal are still the favourites because you're at home. This is no, this Don't matter. do that. Don't do that. We're definitely not the favourites going into the game. Don't do that. That's what, don't do that. Don't do that. Listen, you lot are your favourites. If it's Arsenal and City up for the title race, I will wish Arsenal the best of luck. I don't hate Arsenal. I have no problem with Arsenal at all. So, yeah, You're but I think man. at the end of the day, this Sunday, we will see what happens. If you lose, though, good luck the rest of the season because <laughs> I don't know what the hell you're going to start saying in streams. So, yeah. Bro, if we lose, I'm just going to have to say, well, the only thing I've got is mathematically, and it? it's not done. Like, mathematically, it's not done. Then we've got Inter, then we've got Newcastle, then we got, oh, we got a target on our backs. Man. I'm fucking hell. You're going to start talking about chemistry and physics after then. <laughs> This guy. I can't ask him, please, man. Can I have us, please? Liverpool, please, just let us have this, man. Like, you lot's record is still going to be great. Drop us these three points. Let us get back. We do it. Let's just draw, man. We do this at Anfield. We do this at Anfield. We ain't got our strongest team. Come on, man. Yeah, I thought Liverpool were a fair team. Oh, you want to brag about beating us with Kivio and Zinchenko? Or do you want to battle with Saliba and all of these guys? If I was I you, I wouldn't give a flying monkeys. I just want three points. I don't know? care. Yeah, I'm just like you. I don't care. I don't care. Listen, I want my club to win. I don't care if I'm playing Miles Lewis Kelly up top. I don't care if we're playing that that B Tech Mo Salah as well on the bench that you have. <laughs> the <laughs> other the other Mo Salah you guys have on the bench, the, the random 16 year old kid. I don't <laughs> care if Arteta himself plays right back. I just give me the win, bro. I don't care. Give us a win, yo. Big up, we're shot at win the dog. Big up, we're coming for you as well. Hey, this guy's funny, man. Hey, let people know where they can find you, man. You can find me right here in front of your screen. Don Hussam, ladies and gentlemen. Like, share, and subscribe on the way to 40k right now. Get uh, him to 40k, the... man. The guy's content's amazing. He's got different kind of shows. He offers his own opinions. He's very good at banter. But one thing I like about Don is he will sit down when the banter's done and be honest, in it? Like, yeah. I respect yeah. him highly. That's why I'm doing this video and respect him. He won't tell you a lot of people. But I've been trying to get this done for a while. This is like Liverpool in the transfer window. I've been trying to get this done for a minute. So make sure you show some love. It's man. not like Liverpool in the transfer window because you actually did get it done. So there is a debate. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. We didn't Raheem get in deadline day settings. Raheem Sterling might score against you lot, you know, by the way. Is this another part of the copium now? Ex-Liverpool man might come back to bite you lot. So on let's go. So Zinchenko is going to learn how to defend. Sterling is gonna score in Havertz. We trust. Is there anything else? Give me, give me, give me one more. Forget, I won't say his name, but there's a Brazilian that had a good record of scoring against you. Scored, like a, scored, scored, a, scored a header against you like Anfield. He might be back. He might be back. Four. You want <laughs> if to you roll those four? Board, I'm not replaying. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll those four for you in a paper. Give it to you so you can smoke it. So you can start to convince yourself. Just stop it. Stop it. Anyway, <laughs> listen, most we importantly, need, subscribe to Deluded Gunner, guys. <laughs> I'm so scared. Subscribe to Deluded Gunner, guys. That's the most important thing. Thank you for having me. And I, and I had fun doing this. I, I appreciate it. Minor, man. Minor, man. Thank Let you. me know when you want me to be on your channel, people. I'm sure you lot agree and disagree with a lot of the Arsenal and Liverpool things we said. Make sure you're subscribing and that. Tell us what you think. And may the best, on a serious note, may the best team win on Sunday and we'll deal with whatever happens, man. Don. Bless, man, because I know the time difference is crazy over there, man. Enjoy your day. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Big up to you, bro. Big up to you. One love, my guy. Peace.